Hey guys, Gameboy3800 here, once again with uh, mostly empty HP Blackbird Dedication Edition. Uh, I got an update. Uh, does not require this keyboard being up here, so I'll just toss it down here. And today's update is on the motherboard. I have replaced uh, the thermal paste on the north and south bridge, and I got it some new... Uh, pins for some missing push pins that were like not there and I got it from this little baggie here I got more so if any of these uh, ones give out for no reason I can't replace them and the thermal paste before was literal uh, charcoal or rocks it was like very easy to chip away so I do believe that was the reason why we were seeing those stopping things because the uh, chip sets were getting so hot that they had to throttle before they could catch fire. And also, uh, it was missing a one push pin on the one of the main CPU VRM heat sinks. And you can see where I had to replace it. And that could have also been it. Although if that was the case, then I suspect this fan would have been ramping up and not the graphics card fan that's someplace in that mess. So, now I'm going to go ahead and pull out this liquid cooler and get ready to put in the old setup. So the old setup was the twin 8900 Ultras, or 8800 Ultras, I mean, the radiator and the CPU pump as well, along with the old memory there and sound card. And I took a picture of all the uh, spots for I.O., and stuff so I shouldn't I shouldn't have any issues there let's work on getting the board back in the case all right so I got the cooler out and we do have one problem the top left standoff had a uh, misfitting screw so I'm gonna hope that the screws I do have will fit it and I'll just use another random screw I have that will fit otherwise I may need to pull one of the extra standoffs from here and put it on there. I just realized those screws, <laughs> those are extra standoff screws. I just realized. All right, good thing I have spares. All right, everything is in there for now, except for the IDE cable. I can just go ahead and get that plugged in right about here. And there we go. And I can just kind of hide back there. All right, now everything's plugged in. Uh, only things left to do here is uh, get the sound card back in and start working on that cooler and video cards and power plugs and everything else and memory and yeah you know all right i'll be right back all right pci sound card card is installed next up is the behemoth <laughs> i think i'm going to go install the video cards first and then put in the cpu cooler because the video cards being the heaviest thing if they fall, they take the rest of the system with it. So let's get the video cards installed first. For this, we're going to need to push out uh, the bottom two and the top second two PCI locks so that the cards can fit. And then once they're installed, you push those back on and the video cards lock. I believe I got everything cleared out in here as best I can. So it's time for the video cards to go in. Video cards installed. The top card went in first, but I should have put the bottom one in first because the bottom one was so much more easy. Uh, it's harder to align than you think because if you look here, there's like an extra bar. I kept rubbing the top of the PCI covers on that and it just wouldn't go in until I finally figured that out. And now video cards are locked in place. Uh, next thing is going to be the radiator, and that's going to go, once again, up here. 
Uh, I'm not going to screw it in until I'm certain it's working, because getting everything screwed and unscrewed up there is a right pain, so I won't do that. So, radiator up next. Radiator is in place. Doesn't look like I got too beat up by sitting around. I cleaned the CPU off, and I cleaned the cold plate of the other AIO, but this one, <laughs> I gotta clean that still. I'll do that, put new paste on, and get the block onto that CPU. CPU cooler in place. Next, we need to do the fans, which are right here. I'm not going to screw them in same as before. Because we may have to take this whole system apart yet again if it still doesn't want to stay posted for like a minute. Uh, two fan connectors. And I figured out why I had to use a fan extension cable uh, before. It's because the a AIO, the other one, without the GPUs, for whatever reason has two connectors. One Molex for main power and another detector. I guess the other one just runs full blast all the time, which makes sense because it's got more to, put, to push through. But yeah, that was not something I was immediately expecting. All right, so now we need to get the audio cables out of here and link them to the sound card. And then hook up all the power to the video cards and then... I think, other than getting the memory and fans connected, we'll be ready to go. Let's check it out. Alright, it's all ready to go. Time to flip the switches. Shake the ground. This thing just turned on on its own. Okay, I guess. Let's see if it powers up. Or, I mean, it's obviously powered up. Let's see if it displays a picture and, like, doesn't die. And, okay, it did not save the time. That's why it's, the fans are going haywire. Yeah, that's where I can show the processor. It is a quarter of stream. Uh, cache RAM, 8 megs. Onboard device configuration, HD audio. Small other one. I want the fan control, because it's like mega loud. I'm hearing a little bit of coil wine, and I'm not sure what it's from. Solid memory, usable memory, only 4 gigs. Uh, oh well. Some fan has gone back up. All 
All right, everything there. Q fan mode. Everything else is duty cycle, so. Now, if I go to restart, now save and exit, you know, what will happen? If it's running a little bit loud, let's take a listen now with hopefully quieter fan speeds. There we go. We will see if it can get to Windows. It's got some version of Windows on it. Uh, let's hope that the 80 gig hard drive still recognizes because I had to unplug all the SATA cables to take out the board. Looks like it does. I'm going to take a feel of these VRM heat sinks. Ooh, yeah. They're getting toasty. It's as if it's actually transmitting heat through that now. Instead of, you know, not. <laughs> I put Thermal Grizzly on both North and South Bridge, so it should be getting really, really cool. Should be as cool as it can be, you know? Windows is saying hello. We didn't get this far last time, I don't think. Yay. System is SLI capable, don't care. All I care about is, uh, will you survive more than, like, Two minutes at this stage because before no matter what i did it just like wouldn't so i'll just play around with it and if it freezes i'll hit the recorder back on well it isn't quiet i'm not sure it's making the most amount of noise it could be the power supply one of the video card fans or the gpu cooler fan could even be the top fan troll, I know. But that's pushing out heat. Tubes are warm. System is still running. I fixed it, I think. It was just a VRM issue. So, video card temperatures are slowly climbing. I should have been looking at this. The Strike Your Extreme Temperature tab. CPU temperature is pretty chill at 22 degrees. GPUs are sitting there in the 50s, so that's pretty good as well. Uh, the only thing I could do to make that better is replace the GPU thermal paste, but for now, I'm happy with having a working system. Let me go ahead and get the side panel back on, and that will complete the look. Here it is. Nice and closed. Now I do have the name plates and stuff off because I want to scan them in and get the images ultra high quality. Because that'll be cool. It's not any quieter with the side panel on versus off. But that's okay. Uh, it's also missing all the little uh, dividers inside. I need some cable management, man, uh, management so that it'll fit again. But that's all for another day. There we go. It's hard to get at this place with all the hidden flipping doors and stuff, you know? But that'll be it for now. HP Blackbird 002 Dedication Edition. Back among the living. That'll be it for me from now. If you guys enjoyed this little repair series, then do go ahead and leave a like, favorite, comment, share, and of course don't forget to subscribe as well. Thanks, Gambia. I'll see you in the future.